Hello everybody, you're watching the SMA Victor, where we will help you understand all things about spinal muscular atrophy and create awareness about this unfortunate condition. Today we will tell you all how Spinraza, which is a breakthrough treatment for SMA works. Let's dive right into it. Spinraza is the first FDA-approved treatment for spinal muscular atrophy, with its scientific name being Nusinersen. It's an absolute game-changer for people with SMA, one that gives hope to so many people and families. But how does it actually work? To understand this, we will need to delve a little into the genetics of the condition. Understanding SMN1 and SMN2 genes. SMA arises from mutations in the SMN1 gene that produces the SMN1 protein. The SMN protein is essential for the survival of motor neurons, nerve cells that control muscle movement. People with SMA have a fault in their SMN1 gene, which means they lack the SMN1 protein, causing motor neuron loss and muscle weakness. Humans also have a backup gene known as SMN2. However, the SMN2 gene makes only a small quantity of working SMN protein because most of it is made in an inadequate version. This is where Spinraza comes in. How does Spinraza work? Spinraza is an anti-sense oligonucleotide. That is a synthetic molecule involved in the specific binding of a target RNA sequence. In this case, the SMN2 gene. Through its binding to the SMN2 pre-mRNA molecule, Spinraza changes the pattern of its splicing so that the outcome is the expression of full-length, biologically active SMN protein. Increased functional SMN protein helps to support the survival of motor neurons and slow the disease's progression, thereby improving muscle function. It is also essential to mention that the drug does not cure SMA, but it dramatically changes patients' quality of life. Regular dosing of Spinraza can help stabilize the condition, decreasing the severity of symptoms and sometimes can even reverse some of the muscle weaknesses. This makes it an important tool in the ongoing management of SMA. Spinraza Administration The administration of Spinraza takes place via a lumbar puncture procedure in which the medication is administered into the cerebrospinal fluid around the spinal cord. The initial treatment involves four loading doses, with the first three doses administered at 14-day intervals and the fourth dose 30 days after the third. After the loading doses, maintenance doses are given every four months. While the lumbar puncture procedure is not the easiest to go through, most notably for little children, it is to deliver Spinraza directly into the central nervous system where it can best target motor neurons. The parents and caregivers will always find something to worry about during the lumbar puncture procedure. I must add, however, the specialist medical professionals will certainly take special care regarding how the process should be carried on as comfortably as possible. Anesthetics are used for negligible pain, with the procedure usually rapid. Specifically, the need for the drug to reach the cerebrospinal fluid is what makes this route of administration so important. How well does Spinraza work? Indeed, it has been proven in clinical trials that Spinraza ameliorates motor function in a patient with SMA. The improvement delivered when the treatment starts immediately is really substantial. Most of the patients gained muscle strength, improved abilities to perform daily activities, and improved their quality of life. Benefits of Spinraza may, of course, vary according to the type and severity of SMA. However, certainly results are quite promising and present hope for better management strategies for this pathology. In particular, infants with the most severe form of this disorder, SMA type 1, showed remarkable improvement after the treatment with Spinraza. This included better head control, sitting unassisted, and even standing or walking support. This is in stark contrast to the natural course of SMA type 1, which generally leads to severe disability and shortened life expectancy. Future Directions and Research While highly optimistic in potential, Spinraza is but one advance in this long-term quest against SMA. Laboratories are busily working on further effective treatments and potential cures. Other new forms of therapy, such as gene therapy, and other drugs are being investigated to build upon, even possibly to surpass the success currently seen with Spinraza. 
Hopefully, you were able to join us today to learn how Spinraza works and its implications in the treatment of spinal muscular atrophy. Through an understanding of these treatments, we are supposed to make support to those living with SMA possible and continue with awareness. Hopefully, if you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe so you can get more information regarding the awareness for SMA. Be sure to check out the links in the description too. Catch you in the next video.